Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Mr. God, here, and I'm with. It's your boy, ZB Vlogs. What's going on? Okay, so today we're gonna do a video, um, basically, boy versus girl on first experiences but before that if you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel please do so join the family so this video is going to be about expectations versus reality we're going to get a guy versus girl opinion type of side by side to see like the difference these questions are going to mainly be relationship based and we're just going to go from there go down the list and break down each of our perspectives to start what was your first expectation when you first had sex? Before? Yeah. Um. Let's get through there. Is it? Yeah. Oh. We'll be back. <laughs> A few moments later. All right. So back to the first question. Yes. Expectation? I don't know. I'm a virgin. No, I'm just. Saying. Okay. I thought it was gonna be smooth, like you know, because I watched, I, you know, I was very educated. <laughs> so I thought it was just gonna be like smooth, like I was gonna be the man after. And then. <laughs> Reality, what actually happened? <laughs> now it was funny how it happened. Kind of went as planned. Okay. I mean, eh, so I did it, so. it? Did it really go as smooth as you thought it would go? And after after the fact, did you feel like a man? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah. I killed the shit, but <laughs> nah, I had a lot of experience, like visual experience. So I kind of knew what I was doing. Okay. But in reality, yes. <laughs> it, it, yeah, it went, it went good. How about you? My first, like, alright, so my first expectations for sex, I thought it was gonna be like this whole like heavenly thing. Some like whole like beautiful moment, you know, we might cry together. And then when it actually happened, I was like, eh, that, like this oh, is it. Like, I take it back. It definitely just wasn't what I expected. Oh, the second one we have is, what was your expectations for like your first date? And then versus your reality. My expectations for, to be honest, you know, I fucking love love movies, so. I'm expecting, you know, the flowers, the whole, I'm, I'm in a dress and heels, <laughs> we're at dinner with champagne and all this extra shit. I thought it was gonna be fucking like this whole romantic ass, you know, I'm gonna kick my feet up mm. when we kiss and shit at the end oh. of the night. Niggas gonna walk me to my door and shit like that. My first like real world date, I actually fucking went to the movies. Right. We like actually got ready like the whole day we fucking you know, got dressed, I did my makeup, like it was on some real, like nigga wanna get a haircut, yeah. went to the movies, shit was cool. It was cool, it wasn't what I expected, but I had fun, I had fun. For just like going to the movies, niggas ended up like walking blocks and blocks after just talking? Just talking, yeah, so like Close. that, exactly, that was the conversation I wanted out of the day. I feel like my expectations kind of made it to my reality, kind of, in a way. Just minus like the hood version, like the hood version. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is the flowers, the kicking up of the legs. To be honest, I might have I might have got flowers. He might have brought me flowers. Oh, cool. So it was good, the reality compared to the Yeah, yeah pretty much. How about you? See, I don't even remember my first date. Oh my god, because he's been on so many. No, I don't go honestly, I don't really go on dates like that. Yeah. Cause I don't consider a date. It's like we're going shopping together, that's not really a date. No, it's, yeah, like, it's like you hang but, out. But that's usually how I first meet people. It's okay. like, oh, girls or whatever. It's like either we're going shopping together, I meet you through a mutual friend when we were somewhere. Yeah. So it's not really like, okay. I meet you on Instagram and it's like, all right, let's set up a date. Okay. Like, I don't know, it's oh, kind of weird. Oh, you go out with me? Yeah, like, <laughs> like links, like drinks, like that. No, I'm just, I mean, when I was younger, it was always like movies. Like, that was like the date type of vibe. I mean, back then, but. Now, yeah, <laughs> expectations now is like, I don't know, a good ideal date to me would be like either dinner, movies, whatever yeah. the first. Yeah. Then like, what I love to do actually personally is like, I love to go to the piers and just walk, talk, That's sit. dope, the scenery. Yeah, okay. like that's, 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 my, that's my type of vibe, laid back type of stuff. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but versus reality, I don't make things awkward. So I guess my reality always just happens off of me making it how I want to make it, if that makes sense. Like Let's you say, make it what you want it to be. Exactly, so yeah. it's not like I have like a a, a vision of what I want it to yeah. be like, and then it is, there's, there's the actual vision of what happened. What it's happened? more like I was thinking it could go like this, and I made it kind of go like this, you know? Okay, yeah. So. The next one yeah. is um, our first club experience. What was oh, your was expectations versus your reality on that one? I mean, by the way, look at this shirt, guys. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, like, we didn't even, you feel me? Like, you, 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 
You can purchase this on somethinggodly.com. All sizes. Go get you. I, I like the white one too, but I'm more, large. I'm more of a, you know, black type. Black type. <laughs> Expectation was more more or less. Um, I wanna be in the club how I see it on music videos. Cause growing up, it's like music videos were the thing. Expectations for the club was I think I'm thinking that everybody spreads down the middle of the dance floor. People start boogieing. Like I thought that I really thought it was like that. When I first went to the club, it's more like everybody just standing. You know, everybody just standing around, bumping <laughs> heads. <laughs> now, like. Recently, it's just like everybody's smoking hookah and sta literally standing, drinking, whatever. It's not more like how I thought it was before I started going. Before, I was thinking people make a big circle, break dance, you know. I I'm thinking this is like four people at the DJ booth, switching turns, switching headphones. I mean, that's my, that's what I thought it was. Cause that's what I've seen on like old music videos and stuff yeah. like that. But now it's just different. You so, actually go. Yeah, actually go is more or less like. Oh, this is like weird. Yeah. But it's like, all right, you get used to it. It's like, all right, cool. I right, just get to chill, you know? I so. <laughs> get to chill and spend like $2,000 for a bottle. Exactly. <laughs> no biggie. <laughs> <laughs> so how about you? My expectation for the club, to be honest, I have like, most of my friends are like a year or two years older than me. So they got to experience the club before I did. So when they would talk about it, I'm like thinking it's gonna this whole like, you know, all the girls at the bottles, the sparklers, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? My first time going to the club, I was like, I want to say I was like 17, and I feel like it kind of was like that. We kind of didn't have the money for all the girls to come with all the bottles, but yes. you feel me, like, we still got like one the or two The experience you just walking through that door and hearing the music Yeah, loud. like, you just you felt the vibe. At that age. Yeah. Like, At 17, it definitely, my expectation definitely met my reality on that one. You go in, you're trying to enjoy yourself because that's your first time, so... Yeah, but now it's definitely more like chill vibes. You pop your body. Like you know what to expect now because you like have you have experience yeah. with it. So it's like you know what you're getting yourself into. Before it's like your expectations is like, oh, I want to do this. I'm thinking it's gonna be like that, and then you walk in there, it's a whole different thing. Yeah. But you kind of get used to it, so you know it flows. That's true. Next topic is actually, what was your expectations on your first relationship? You knew about girlfriends and boyfriends, and. <laughs> And yeah, yeah. You've always seen your friends get into relationships and like you know BS relationships. And what was your expectations? And then reality, when you actually hit like high school and like you got older, whatever case, when you actually got into real relationships, what was it oh, like? It was different, yeah. For me, my first expectations for like a relationship was really like I always wanted the gentleman. My favorite, mo my favorite movie is The Notebook. So you feel me? I wanted the gentleman. The you know we joke around, have fun, whatever. I'm very big on like conversation and communication like that so I wanted all that like interesting fact my brother was named after me yeah his name is Noah oh my god I love that name <laughs> I felt like it would be something greater than what I actually got my first like relationship like period that I actually called somebody my boyfriend mm -hmm. I was like in sixth grade and he was like a in some gang or whatever he used to write notes give it to his cousin and she would bring it to me at school and then like, I'll write him a note back and like mind you this man lived like he lived like four blocks away from me so I could have saw him any time but you put me in sixth grade it's like you're not really about to lick somebody like it was weird yeah, yeah, yeah. and I actually had like my Did you even have like phones to like contact I mean yeah but I don't think he had a phone I think that's why we wrote letters to each other which was weird as hell my first actual relationship or like rela real relationship that shit was amazing it was everything I wanted it to be it felt good and you know I had somebody that I, at it's the boring. time I cared for a lot that is my <laughs> so that's the reality it came out to be like good. yeah first relationship expectations or like you know like when you were a little kid you wanted to be like Boyfriend, girlfriend, and do stuff together, and make your other friends jealous. Hold the hand, <laughs> you know, send notes and stuff like that. So it was like a fairy tale type of thing, so to speak, and uh, expectation-wise. But reality, my first girlfriend. I mean, I think I was in high school. You think? It's actually cool when you get feelings for a person and you like get to meet their parents, and you know, you move on stuff like that. It, it feels good. You, know, you do everything together. Your parents know that you're with each other. Stuff like that is cool. You know, but I mean, versus reality, that's reality. Eh, it was cool. It was, can't say much. It was cool. First relationship was cool. But. Wait, I want to 
spinoff real quick. What was your expectation when you first met Ashori's parents? Like, oh, her? Oh, no. Exactly. Like, her what? father was, he didn't speak no English. Oh, my God. And her mom spoke. I mean, but you speak Spanish, right? Barely. Oh, okay. Well. Like, I speak Spanish. <laughs> But like, her parents barely spoke English and at that time I did not know a single word but like now I know how to sing yeah, Spanish songs conversation. But like, back then I'm like, what? It was awkward, so it was like, but still they like When I went over it was like, cook food ready for me, stuff awesome. like that Girlfriends and like, that, after that one, they were like, it got better and better because I know how to handle you know the situation exactly. better and stuff like that With the experience, everything is better Yeah, how you I think that's a great segment <laughs> Last but not least, uh, people on IG Versus people in person. This is a big one. This is a big one because. Go get catfish. Exactly. What's your, what's <laughs> your expectation? And what before you see them? And then what's your reality when you actually see them? Most of the guys that I've seen on Instagram that I've met in person, expecting to meet you the way you look on Instagram. Right. So, I mean, I've had a couple experiences where it's been like they look better than they look on Instagram. Sometimes they look worse than they look on Instagram. <laughs> They look worse than they look on Instagram. Uh -huh. I'm always scared about the, the looking worse. Cause it's like, bro, I saw you looking one way. Yeah. That ain't you. You don't look like an Instagram picture and you a dude, bro. It's over. So, yeah. I mean, me personally, I'm not, I mean, I don't know if I'm photogenic or not, but like, I like taking pictures. One thing I don't like is iPhone pictures. So I kind of try, try to take candid pictures, which is more clear. So it's like, literally, if I look that way, if that's how I look in person. But girls, I mean, I could sit here all day and talk about this. Uh -huh. For guys, if you're gonna talk to a girl, right? And you meet her through Instagram, you get her number, I advise you to FaceTime her as Before. soon as possible. <laughs> Don't waste your time texting her for three weeks, four weeks. Hold no. on, so that's why you wanted to FaceTime me so quickly? Yes, I was like, yo, <laughs> do y'all need to Like, talk. hold on. All right, she's good. <laughs> Boom. For real, for real. If you wanna, if you wanna mess with a girl, if you think she's look good looking on Instagram, or whatever, make sure you FaceTime her or make make sure she sends you some some type of Snapchat. Not even that. They Don't like to that. keep the video up on their necks and like, no, I wanna see everything. Full body. People wanna know like what they're expecting. The worst feeling in the world is a girl, right? She looks nice on Instagram, nice body, whatever. Looks nice body, right? Uh, uh, and then you meet her in person, and it's like, you know, where did all that go? You know what I mean? It's like, what happened to the slim waist and the <laughs> and the big thighs? Like, where did that go? You know the best thing? I'm gonna tell you guys a secret. The, so the number one way to find out how a girl really looks, you go to Instagram, right? And you go to the pay, you go to the pictures that people tag her. Yes. Because those are the pictures that she's not gonna post, but other people are gonna post. And if she has none, that's a warning sign. That's a sign. You gotta call her on Instagram, FaceTime. You know the Instagram, the yeah. FaceTime thing. <laughs> you gotta call her right away. You gotta make sure, which, you know what you're doing. Hold on. Especially the makeup thing. You gotta call her when she's least expected. You gotta call her at work. You know, most girls don't wear makeup to work. So you gotta call her and be like, yo, let me see, let me see what your jib's looking like. Everything. You gotta, you gotta make sure she's upside. You gotta make sure she's right. I don't want guys to be out there. Going yeah, all out, yeah, going all out for a girl, buying her flower, and then when she get in your car or you meet up with her, you like, oh, who this? You know what I mean? Like, who is you? You're not the same the girl that I just met two uh, two days ago. You know what I mean? All the fellas out there, don't get catfish. Make sure you FaceTime yes. a girl. You don't want your expectations to be higher than the reality when you finally meet the girl. Oh my god, Trust that me. is the worst. That Trust is me. the worst. I'm not saying I went through it, but I know some people that did and wasn't. It wasn't pretty. It wasn't pretty. No. Alright guys, so that's the end of our video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me all the likes in the world. Comment down below if you guys want to see us collab on anything else. And if you're ideas, don't forget to follow us on Instagram. They'll be, you know, somewhere. It's my time. Yes. If you guys are not subscribed to me, go and subscribe. Z-A-Y space V space vlogs. Go check out my channel. We're gonna be collabing. A lot more, just we need more opinions, we need more options, and we need more, you know, we need feedback. So go comment down below, let us know what type of videos you want us to do, yes. what type of topics you want to talk about, and all that type of stuff, you know. We I like to talk, she likes to talk. We do it all. You know, if you're not subscribed to her channel, go and subscribe. Oh, yeah, do that right now. I'm on, I'm, I am on her back about posting videos, like, consistently. The reason why I bought my camera, so you can exactly. thank him for the camera. Yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned, guys. See you, man.